That is a brute. There's the big old northern, 27 inches. Hey, look at that. Just ate it. Just gulped that rattler. Mississippi River, backwater Mississippi River spillway. Nice bluegill right there. Little little white jig with night crawler, jig in the back. Another nice dandy bluegill. Look at that. There we go. Alright, we are out below a spillway after summer, middle summer bluegills. Some nice ones. A lot, a lot, a lot of small ones. Enjoy the video. Nice bluegills. You gotta fight through all the small ones to get the nice ones going. Enjoy the video. All right, so this time out, we're underneath a Mississippi River backwater spillway, catching bluegills using a under one inch jig head with some night pieces of night crawler. Just having a good old time underneath that spill with a lot of eagles flying by. And we were just jigging that little one inch jig with that night crawler just catching all kinds of bluegills right under this spillway right off of a drop off where this comes up to like a sandy beach so we're fishing off this drop off and that's where all these bluegills are lined up enjoy the video of us on the backwaters of the mississippi underneath the spillway going after bluegills enjoy the video we'll see what happens we're underneath the spillway here mississippi backwater mississippi river spillway nice bluegill right there Well, that's four of them. Just using a tiny little jig with night crawler, just jigging it back. We're fishing a drop off. Shallow flat right here, and then drops off. A little deep hole where the water comes in from the spillway. A whole lot of fun. Number six. It is now after 12. We had a little bit of rain come through. A lot of small ones you gotta fight through. But the big ones are in the mix a little bit too. Not as many as, there's way more small ones than anything else. after 12 it's that middle of the day grind that one almost got back in the water that's an eater size really slow right now because of the middle of the day but I think they'll start back up um, I think we got seven or eight five eight I think we got eight Almost one o'clock. Uh, that's another eater. I was gonna throw that one back, but that's another eater. We got like 10, I think. We need five more. A lot of small ones. You gotta fight through a lot of small ones, but the big ones are in there. You just gotta fight through the small ones and you'll get, you'll catch them. You'll catch the nicer ones. Number 11. The people are starting to roll in. We might have to leave because it might be getting too popular. This bite, you have to fight through the small ones to get the good ones. A lot and a lot of small ones in here. Well, the weather today is mostly cloudy and horse flies. So, mostly cloudy, and it's high 70s, and some nice wind once in a while. Little little white jig with night crawler jigging it back. Another nice dandy bluegill. Oh, and it came off. Felt like a nice one. And then, of course, you're fishing some type of spillway or something. You can hook into these suckers. Sheephead. Little dude. 
I'm gonna keep fishing for a tiny bit more. We got 11, pretty close maxing out. The afternoon bite kind of slow, but it seems like they're starting back up. But we got fish to clean and all that, so a little bit more fishing, see what happens, and get out of here. So, yeah, you just gotta fight. There's a lot of nice ones, nothing crazy like no nine or over nines or tens. They're all in between that eight to nine, all a bunch of nice eaters. Well, the ones we kept anyway. There's hundreds, there's so many small ones you have to fight through to catch them, but them nice ones are in here. You just, you know, like I said, if you if we would sit here the rest of the afternoon, we would probably max out, but we got a bunch of fish. We're happy with what we got. We're gonna fish a little bit more and see what happens and we're out. So I'm just using a nice panfish setup here. That's my reel, that's my rod, elite six pound suffix really strong panfish line i love that elite line more than any of the other suffix panfish line so this elite stuff just seems so much tougher fish in here is you, there's like a right along with the the reel or rod that's where it drops off this is all deeper right about here then in all this is a big shallow sand flat that I was standing on two years ago. And you can see it, like the different colors in the water right there where the sand is, where you can see the sand. And all these fish just seem to be piled up right along where it drops off here. That's where I've been fishing this whole time. Another just makes a keeper right there. That makes what, 12? Yeah. Basically going to be getting really close to maxing out, but I don't think I'm going to stay long enough for that. But I got a bunch of fish. Ow, oh, the needles went into my skin. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Ooh, another nice one. Huh? Uh, that one's a putter backer. All right, uh, it's a, I'm keeping it. It's bigger than I thought. I initially hooked into this bluegill, pulled a lot of drag, so it should be another eater. So all we'll need is one more. Oh yeah, that's an okay one. All right, one more, one more maxed. And that would be, it's almost 2.30, so. We were here for four and a half hours and we almost maxed out. That's all it took today, down below the Mississippi backwater spillway here. Well, I think this might be, might be our last good one here, is that we need. Oh, it looks decent, too. Last one's a really nice one. Look at that. There we go. That might be a, almost a nine inch right there. Oh, our last one is a nice one. Our only nine, actual nine incher. Beautiful. All right. Well, that's a way to go out right there. Our very last one was the nicest one, a big nine incher. Something just jumped right out in front of me. There we go, but we're done. We are out from the spillway, Mississippi River Spillway.